What up everyone, Reege here for Animal Wire and the internet is all up in a frenzy over this one. Check it out, cause I gotta admit it's pretty darn wild. Now a lot is going on here- Whoa! Okay. But if we start at the beginning, we're looking at an animal that belongs to the phylum Nemertia. And this isn't some obscure group of organisms, we're talking a taxon that contains hundreds of different species. And they can be found all over the world, though most do live in the ocean around the intertidal zone, while some are adapted for land and others for fresh water. So based on their appearance, you can go ahead and call them ribbon worms or proboscis worms. Cause what sets them apart is that extendable tube thingy that can be fired and retracted at will. It works kinda like a rubber glove that is pushed out through muscle contraction then sucked back in with hydrostatic pressure. And of course, this should keep all those little branchlets nice and tidy. And praise where praise is due, cause this guy here is a pretty special case, considering most shooter worms don't have such complex appendages. But still their function remains more or less the same and that's to capture prey. So depending on what group the worm falls into, there's two basic strategies employed. The weaponized ones actually have a sharp spike at the tip of their proboscis, and this thing is soaking in toxins all day so that it can pierce then immobilize its target. Other ones like our friend here rely more on a sticky mucus to help trap and hold theirs down. You know how they like to say life finds a way? Well yeah, this sure is one hell of a way. But no matter how cool this hunting method is, it serves a purpose far beyond our amusement. Cause all predators like these guys help balance out the population of clams, crustaceans, and other worms they feed on. So I'd like to thank Uriel Garza for bringing this delectable little treat to our attention. And with that being said, yo dude, sweet creature.